robbery. We're told that Cadence France was brought here to the precinct around 3 o'clock this afternoon by a relative from New Jersey. This story took many twists and turns. The little girl lives with her father, who has legal custody, and she was missing two days. Amber Alert, nothing. I feel like it could have been prevented. The father of Cadence France, who doesn't want his full name used, said he was going to meet the child's mother, Randall A. Rhodes, to go Christmas shopping on Saturday about 12.30 p.m. He called out my daughter's name. My daughter went to her. She grabbed her. She ran, threw her in the car. I grabbed the car door. She just pulls off. The kidnapping of three-year-old Cadence happened on Curtis Place on Staten Island, close to the father's home. They didn't send a unit into my house until 2 o'clock. So it's an hour and a half later? An hour and a half later. It's so much red tape that the cops got to go through when it's like a domestic situation that, um, that the laws have to change. Cadence Francis' father said Rhodes had also taken the girl two years ago when he was living in Newark. The child was later found in Massachusetts. Most neighbors on Curtis Place didn't know about the kidnapping. I saw yesterday there were some um, officers there. Cadence's father believed the mother would head to Virginia, where her other children live with a different father. Virginia State Police even put out a bulletin, believing the child was in extreme danger. He said he tried to keep in touch with Randall A. Rhodes for his daughter's sake. I grew up without a mom, and I know mothers are important, so I try to keep that active as much in her life. But the mother chooses when she wants to come and go. I do everything from doctors, school, everything. That's me. And I do it with pride. Now, a police source told us that the father was finally able to convince the mom to bring Cadence to a relative in New Jersey, and then that woman brought the child safely back to Staten Island. One other note, the blue Honda Accord that was involved in the kidnapping has been found abandoned in Virginia Beach, and there's still no sign of the mother. Reporting live from Staten Island, I'm Mary Murphy, PIX11 News. Back to you in the studio. Thank you, Mary.